Okay, and now I'm making my DIY window covers. And I just used some paper and I taped it up to the window to create a template. So I'm gonna cut it a little bigger just in case. And then I got some reflective paper. So I'm just gonna trace it out and cut it. And then I'm gonna put black material on top of this. Okay, that's it. So what I'm doing, I put the template down and I put tape around it so it's not sliding around. And I don't have to go crazy so I have tape on the edges. And then I cut it out and I leave a little excess and cut it out and it looks like this. But this is the paper that's gonna come off and then um, I'll add the material. What's up, Basil Babes? I cannot find the battery to my camera. So I'm in my car. I just made it to storage. Many of you know that I am a middle school teacher who now lives in her car uh, because that's the because that's the way it is. It is what it is. And no, do I have to do this? No. It's a choice that I'm making. I'm trying it out. See how I like it. See how I like the freedom of this lifestyle. And I haven't fully absorbed myself in the lifestyle. But I've been thinking about it for almost two years now. Watching other YouTubers and you know other van lifers rv lifers so initially i want to do rv living but i said joy take a step back and try stealth camping first in your car to see if i even like it so i invest in an rv you know a little rv or a, a van or whatever and i don't like the lifestyle then i'm stuck so i figured let me learn as much as I can and then if I like it after six months to a year then I can you know make some changes then <laughs> so I haven't been too absorbed into the lifestyle I've made some changes made some updates to the car and it's been it's been interesting I'm not comfortable yet I'm, I'm not comfortable um, so what I'm going to do now, I ordered some more stuff. So I have, um, I got my windows tinted. I have a limousine tint. So you cannot see inside the car. When you're inside the car, you can see out just fine. But to go outside, you cannot see inside the car. I was quite impressed with the limousine tint. So I just got the back, the back done. And then um, I'll probably go back and get the two side windows done. I can't get the darkest tint on the windows for the driver's side and the passenger side because, you know, have to be legal. Um, but the tint that I did get, I got the premium, which also blocks out 95, I believe 95% of heat. So pretty excited about that. So I wanna get the two, my window and the passenger window done. Um, I don't have to get the darkest tint, but I can have it block out the heat. If I get the front window done, that's super expensive. So I'm not sure I'll do that. And plus I, I have my reflector that I could put up for that anyway for the front window. So, mm -hmm. so I will show you that, but I need to get the car wash and I want to change some things around in the car. So, I'm not trying to build nothing. I do want to get my floor put down in the car. And I feel like I'm, I'm losing space because I have a middle console that cannot be removed from this car and it's getting in the way. So I want to just play with a different setup. So, I want to play with a different setup and see how I like that setup better. And hopefully I'll be able to get my floor situated inside the car. So I think that's the one thing that's holding me up. So I don't have a fridge yet. 
I have my battery, have my bed. So I just ordered um, a frame for the bed. So I'll see how it goes. I don't know how it's gonna work. I don't know. I have a little credenza in here because I'm not trying to build anything. So I want to move the credenza to hopefully make more space for my bed. And not sure if I have to cut the bed down. But I do have a storage facility, so it's not like I have to live with everything in my car because I still have a job, okay? So that's a little different. I now have to go and organize or continue to work on my storage because it is a hot, hot mess. You hear me? Mess. And it is going to take a while to get that settled. So I'm going to... Almost like, do I want to take the stuff upstairs first so I have more room to move things around? You know, so it's not in the way and I don't want to put my stuff on the ground. So that's what I'll probably do. I'll probably take my stuff upstairs to storage because I've been traveling with like four bags. My backpack, my rolly thing so I can do school works. My backpack, my rolly suitcase so I can do school work. A gym bag and a regular bag that I carry stuff in. Just, I'm like the bag lady. You can feel myself and you rough it. I don't know the words to any song, but you know, you know what I'm talking about with the Erica Badu, okay? So that's how I feel. I feel like a bag lady. Yep, so one, two, three, four. And then I was just doing some of my braids in the car last night. So they're not done. So I did some of the braids under here. So this is the initial braid. Now I have to extend them. Because, you know, I'm going to go long. If I'm going to go big or go home, honey. So they got to be long, okay? Long. So it's been interesting. I'm telling you, it's not bad. This lifestyle, so far, it's not bad. I guess the biggest challenge is finding somewhere to sleep. So I've done um, the, the gym. I joined a gym, a really nice gym. So I go there and shower, have me long, wonderful, hot, glorious showers, sit in the steam room. I haven't done the sauna yet. So I, I gotta get like a little modest bathing suit for that. The sauna, the steam room, I did the eucalyptus steam room. I took a class that kicked my butt. I mean, it's a really nice, really, really, really nice gym. But, um,. Sometimes I'll hang out at the, and you can hang out at the gym as long as you want. They want you to, to stay and use all of their amenities. That's They want you to. And they're like, if you just go into the gym to get on a little treadmill, then leave. That is not the gym for you. And I will hope not because it's not cheap either. But, and plus, I don't mind small space. It feels cozy. But I guess the biggest challenge is finding places where you're going to park, really. So I did park at a 24-hour gym a couple of times. My friend um, let me stay in her place. And, I, you know, trying to be closer to school. So it's not, it's not bad. Once you find the places where you can park, it's not as bad, especially if you work. So I would say the biggest challenge is what to do with my time on weekends. So I kind of want it to be a little more relaxing and tranquil. So I have to explore more for weekend stays. So I think I've done this for maybe two weekends and I probably stayed at somebody's house. <laughs> okay. So it has not been bad. It has not been scary. It's not scary. It's just just the unknown when you're first doing it for me it's not scary I'm just like curious looking around looking around and being that I grew up in New York and Brooklyn I'm used to the car sounds it just is people walking it, it it's like life and so that doesn't bother me I want to see people I want to see walking around <laughs> So it's just curious, like, is this okay? Is this okay? Is this... But I haven't been scared, like, oh my God, I, this, I have an uncomfortable feeling. And plus, I haven't parked any anywhere that's been isolated or anything like that. So I haven't had that experience. And I wouldn't want to. Mm -mm, I'm sorry. It's not that I would be scared. I just would feel uncomfortable. 
so it has not been scary and some days i've been so tired child as soon as i hit my little mattress my memory phone honey i'll be out gone gone to the wind and and then I got me some window guards. I was determined to put those things up. I was like, no, you're not going to tell me I can't do it. You're, and I got them from WeatherTech. You can't tell me I can't do it. It took me a while. But I got those things up and then having the windows crack. So just little things I've been getting little by little. And you learn as you go. I'm learning as I go. So far, my bed is not comfortable. So I really want to take the time to move things around so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get these bags i'm gonna get everything out so i can see what i'm doing um i also want to vacuum the car so yeah i'm gonna just get it i'm gonna take it upstairs i'll come back down and my storage is a hot mess and they don't have a bathroom in my storage but hunty i do i do okay i did not spend a lot of money on a toilet no i did not and I got a cute little travel toilet and got all of the little bags and stuff to put inside the toilet. So my biggest thing is not number two. I, I probably wouldn't go number two in here. Mm -mm. Um, it's number one. I do go to the, for number one. I do do that a lot. So I have stuff that will congeal that. So mm, it, hasn't, it hasn't been too bad. So just for me, it's waiting to the last minute to go. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, why did I do this? But it has not been bad. It hasn't been bad. And once again, like I said this before, it is not something that I have to do this lifestyle. I want to try it out. I'm like, I wanted to do something that was different uh, financially, maybe have a, a few extra dollars to help my girls, to be able to send my girls and help them out. Um, one of my uh, children, uh, one of my daughters, she does work, but she also pays some of her tuition as well. Um, that hasn't been covered so she 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 she's been paying and she's been paying for her sorority dues so she she's been doing a lot and you know I, I respect and I appreciate that so when she needs a little something extra I want to be able to and then my other daughter she can't work she just can't because she plays basketball so just trying to help them out so they don't feel like oh my god I only got ten dollars that's not a good feeling because baby trust and believe I've been there numerous times and it is not a good feeling did I make this move solely because I'm not curious I just wanted to see I wanted that freedom didn't want to be attached but although I cut some expenses I also incurred some extra expenses too with my storage with my gym but just not being tied down to that. So I'll see. It's still really young. I'm not at that place where I want to give up yet. You know, I want to get reacclimated with the gym and exercising, which I haven't done in years. So I have things that I want to do, goals. Once again, just to reiterate, this is not something I have to do. This is something I was curious about and I wanted to try. So there's a big difference before you start passing judgment, okay? Do I have to do this? No, I don't. I could go get me another place if I want to. Okay, sis. You do you. Okay, I'm trying this out. Because sometimes we get comfortable with doing the stuff that we're used to doing where we don't step outside of our comfort zone. So, <laughs> I have definitely stepped outside of my comfort zone. Yeah, trying something new here. But it's really going to be, I'm hoping that it'll be a little more exciting once I can start traveling. Okay? And people are like, well, what about when your kids want to come home? What about it? <laughs> so, my daughters are coming home. And what I did with the few extra dollars I had, I got an Airbnb. So, we do the little Airbnb, cook, cook, cook meals, have good time, have girl time, and then bye bye You go back to school and I go back to work. <laughs> Period. All right, y'all. Um, I hope you continue to follow this journey. I'll show you what I come up with this with this car because uh, it's not comfortable yet. It's it's not. I have not made it a home yet. Right now, I'm just getting used to the life. It's not. It's not cute. It's not. It's none of that right now. I'm just trying to <laughs> figure this out. Okay, that's all I can do. So I'm gonna drink my little cold coffee now. That's what it's cold coffee. I'm going in and give me some ice, make it an ice cup. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Give this video a thumbs up or not. 
and I will check in with you later. Bye, y'all.